Good afternoon. It is the end of the working day for me. And uh, this is a follow-up video from the previous one. Design and cost work chat with Mr. Daniel on ideation and development. This video I'm going to talk about development. And uh, before we do that, maybe it's good to recap what, how does idea generation phase look like. Now in the idea generation phase, we talk about how playful it should be. It's a design phase where you explore ideas, draw, sketch, quick, have a lot of fun with different alternatives. And when you come to the development phase, you still do the same thing, essentially the same thing. You will still have the opportunity to explore ideas think of the best way to do things best way to function like the idea generation phase but you do it with a little bit more seriousness now if you find the term I development difficult to understand think of it in terms of refinement fine-tuning it is the stage where you start to refine and fine-tune your idea the chosen concept from which you get from your idea generation. Now, what is, what is refinement? What is fine tuning? And how does it differ from idea generation? How can you tell the difference between the two? I'll give you an example. Mm. Say, when you, when you get out of bed, get ready to, for school or for work, and you comb your hair, you know, if you like different styles, very, very, um, um, very, um, um, what term is that? Very sporty. Okay, never mind. You comb to the right, you comb to the left, you comb backwards, you comb forward. Maybe you go to meet your girlfriend or back boyfriend in, uh, late, later. You want to find the best hairstyle and you want to find the best shape, best form. So you, you keep on exploring different ways to, to comb your hair. And then finally you found, oh, it is best to comb from the left to the right and you like it so much. And then you start to fine tune, comb, try to catch hair standing and then push it down, put a little bit more gel. You fine tune so that it has the best shape. You get another mirror, look at the back and make sure the back looks right and perfect. Like fine tune, fine tune, fine tune to the point that oh, now I have the perfect hairstyle. Or when you go to the wardrobe, you get your clothes, you try different clothing, put it on you. That's the idea generation phase. You're playing around with different set of clothes, different colors, different combination. And once you don your clothes on, you've decided that this is going to be it. You button up arrange, tidy up the collar, sleeves, make sure all the lines and wrinkles are not there, pull it straight before you go out, that refinement, the details, making it perfect, ready to go. So when you come to development, you will realize that you no longer sketch as freely as in the idea generation phase, not as sketchy as that, no longer that. And when you start to do your development, what is the end goal? Your end goal is no longer fun, exploration of ideas, alternative, cool ideas. Your end goal of a development phase is to work towards a working drawing, towards a presentation drawing. What do you require in a presentation drawing or a working drawing? A working drawing first. What do you require? Can you have an anyhow drawing and then work a working drawing? Can you have an idea with no dimensions, just proportions? No, you cannot. Can you have an idea with the number of parts unknown? You don't know how many parts? Cannot. Can you have a working drawing without knowing what materials are going to be in your project? No. How do you finish it? No, you can't. If you cannot have a working drawing, you do not have the data and the details, you 
cannot make your prototype you cannot even collect any materials whoever going to product pro, uh, help you prepare the materials will come to you and say hey where are they okay so the end goal is a working drawing a workable working drawing and for that you need to have very precise details and information what exactly am I going to join how will the joints be what is the fastest way to join what is the fastest way to make what is what is the best shape that the product should be I'm going to make it after I make it that's it no turning back the refinement phase is a little bit like idea generation so for example if you are going to work out a hinge a door a lid that can open and close the opportunity for idea generation at the development stage will be now I've decided it's going to be a door and the chosen idea was a hinge now what else other than a hinge how can I make the door open and close the way it is but what are some of my alternatives is there a faster way to make than using a hinge is there a better way to make the door open and close without using a hinge and it may potentially help me produce the product faster more effective so in the refinement phase you think of this how can you make each and every feature even better and working towards a final solution final decision on what the materials should be how do you combine them together how do you join them together how do you construct what is the fastest way to construct this what is the fastest way to cut this hole or maybe it shouldn't be a hole it should be something else what is it so at the end of the day the end product of your development phase this product that you draw at the end with precision may not look very different from the idea that you have chosen at the end of the idea generation phase but the only difference is now you can draw it with precision you know exactly how many pieces of materials you need what are they how do you join them how do you make them how do you finish them how do you assemble them how do you test them and then with this information when it comes to the point the part where you need to produce a working drawing you shouldn't be sitting down on the table and start scratching the head and start measuring if you do that you have not reached the end of development yet how do you know I've arrived at the end of development is when you can sit down on a table and start churning out your working drawings without further research you have all the information that you need then you produce your working drawing if you can do that you are likely at the end of your development phase and you will have finished and completed your ideas concept uh, ideas conceptualization and development parts of the design journal okay it is just as simple as that so a development phase is like refinement you fine-tune and the objective of development you must know that the end point is to come up with my final decision for every aspect of the design the materials the colors the jointing methods assembly methods the making methods when you come when you come to the end of the development phase you have found and decided and on the fastest best methods that you can for this particular solution that you have okay so that is development i think that is about all thanks for listening to design and coursework chat with mr daniel lim if you like the video if you think it's useful subscribe share like and then comment in the comments below let me know what else do you like to hear learn and i'll try to make them for you
okay traffic jam anyway i have nothing else to say goodbye cheers